Hello and welcome back to Ghost. Last time, Houston really went at it trying to figure out whether or not we're a robot, and we are currently trying to help Boogan, uh, not Boogan, Houston understand whether or not we're a robot by placing bombs and blowing stuff up, which I think is pretty cool. We are also in a trash pit, which is to be noted, it's kind of the worst. There's a lot of trash everywhere. It's trying to kill us most of the time, and there's a save station right here, which is perfect. Anyway, we have to find six additional slots to place bombs while, you know, trying not to die in the process. It, it, it's nice, it's nice. It's a, let's just say a, a change, a change of events as opposed to the general just trying to infiltrate Nakamura. Now we're trying to prove to Boogan that we're some sort of soulless robot, which I guess is a good thing. It's not a good thing. Not a good thing. Houston is kind of weird about the entire situation. You would think he'd be fine with robots. He seems like the kind of guy who would be fine with robots, but instead he has to be a jerk about it. How unfortunate for you, Houston. Are those flaming chunks of metal? Can I just say flaming chunks of metal? I don't appreciate that. Is this a slot? No? Are there any slots here to put a bomb? What is the point of destroying all of these UFO things? I mean, there's nothing in the rooms with the UFOs. It's not going to stop me at any moment from destroying every UFO I find, but I don't understand why. What is the purpose of our actions? It's quite questionable. Let's just scan and repair one last time because we took like half damage from that giant UFO thing, which is not good. Um, can we get through here? Doesn't look like it. That's unfortunate. We're going to have to drop down and go around. Oh, that's going to be really hard to go around, isn't it? Huh? Huh? Nope, we just immediately got destroyed. We totally should have used our dash ability and we could have gotten through there. That would have been great. Unfortunately, I hate the dash ability and thereby did not use it. Mm, that's probably not a good reason to murder ourselves. Just thinking about it. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Hello, giant things on the wall. I don't like you guys. Can you guys just go away? Oh, they did go away. How nice. I mean, technically we blew them up, but... They went away. That's totally what happened here. Oh, we got it. Perfect. I'm not getting the, that stuff down there. That's not happening. It's in a crusher. How can we possibly get it? I mean, we could go get it right now, but we die in the process. And I don't think money is worth dying for if you're not actually going to get to have it at all at any time. UFOs again? Deploy the frogs and engage the UFO in straight combat. Not chivalric combat, because we don't engage UFOs in chivalric combat, but just normal combat. Standard combat. Combat to the death. Ow! We got, like, one... one health from destroying that thing. Sour taste in the mouth. Sour taste. I'm guessing had our frogs not jumped into piles of flaming molten metal, we would have had a potentially better chance at defeating said giant UFO. But I can't say for certain, because of course, I would argue that the frogs know best. They are, of course, the greater fighting force here, and are clearly far more dangerous than any gun-wielding robot could possibly be. Hmm, if, it, if there's a UFO over there, and we've proven that UFO rooms are pretty useless, we should probably go a different direction. I don't want to get killed by a UFO again, especially since, as has been stated, they are so useless. So potentially up here is going to be a better place. Anything up here? Just a few robots? You guys are dumb. Did you not realize in that entire situation that there's someone below you trying to kill you? Ugh. How sad. Can you just... There we go. Perfect. He has, uh... That robot has thrown themselves into the fires in, of course, a heroic attempt to help us infiltrate Nakamura and, of course, prove to Houston that we are, in fact, robots. Which is apparently something we need to do. I don't even know about Houston. He's a weird one. I've always had my doubts, but at this point, the doubts are pretty real. Okay. So this isn't that difficult. I mean, we're taking a lot of damage because there's, like, nowhere to move. We can't evade a lot of these shots, but I mean, it's not difficult. We're getting through it pretty easily. It's just a lot of platforming, which, personally, platforming on conveyor belts, not my favorite thing. It's actually one of my least favorite things. 
It actually makes me want to tear my hair and the hair of the creators of the game out. That would be great. That would make me feel really good. Unfortunately, I do not know where the creators of the game are right now. I could probably figure that out, but that is way too much effort. So instead, we're just going to sulk about the entire situation. I almost sent myself directly into, like, a death pit. That is not a good place to go. Are these the equivalent of alarms in this area? Is that how this works? Ow, 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 ow. Things are about to go downhill. Just take cover in here. We'll do a little repairing. This isn't good enough, is it? That's really not good enough. No. We're doomed. We're doomed. This is going to kill us. Um, uh, is, it, is there another option? No. We have no other option but to fight. Fight for our pathetic lives. And we have been murdered. Yeah, that's how life goes. Quite sad. Had we not lost so much life trying to get there, perhaps we would have made it. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Don't worry, people. We'll get back in there. Maybe at some point we'll meet the ninja dude. That'd be nice. I mean, I haven't seen the ninja dude yet. It'd be nice to, you know, have a little tussle with him. I like ninja tussles. And I'm pretty sure Ghost is at this point close enough to a ninja to um, actually contend with a legit robot or otherwise ninja. Ow! Cut it out. Lasers. Screaming lasers at that. Screaming laser is the worst kind of laser. So, instead of just straight up fighting all of these guys, I'm just going to do a little trick here and just take control of them and have them kill each other. That'll be great. Because it means we don't have to take any damage. They can take all the damage. And I guess that's a good thing in the end. Probably. Probably. It does mean that we'll survive potentially a few... Oh, totally missed that one completely missed that one. Luckily, our life was not on the line in that situation, which is good. I, I like it when I kill my enemies with no risk to myself, although it's also not as fun. It does have to be noted that the risk of death is a serious part of the job overall, and when it doesn't exist, it's just not quite the same. It's all about sudden moments of absurd destruction of our own flesh and, I guess, robotic structures. Hey, wait, there's a store here. We totally missed this store. Drone damage up. Damage done by your drones is doubled. Oh, can we have that? A flying drone that allows... A flying drone that follows you blocking any enemy projectiles. This is really cool stuff. I want this so bad. Oh, but we're not going to get any of it. Oh, because we're poor! Anyway. Anyway, back through here. Same methodology. Our poor, poor body is going to have to use the ghost to try to take control of these guys, take a little less damage. Hey guys, how's it going? Not too good? Yeah, I didn't think so. There we go. They're cleared out. Okay, that UFO is going down this time. We are no longer at half health, and we should have a pretty good... Oh. There's also this room. I forgot about this room. And we go through here, and this is it. Here we go. Okay. We need to deploy frogs immediately and begin combat. And I think we have a pretty good chance now. I mean, it's really hard to avoid any damage that this guy does. Oh, no. We got stuck on a pile of trash. Man, this one's going to be hard. Maybe we should pass by him and go somewhere else. That'd be great, wouldn't it? That'd be amazing. Are there any places to go? I guess our only paths are down this way. So we can go down instead of up. That will be an option. Now, I'm almost 100% certain that in that room is, in fact, a bomb placing slot. You can see the, like, dead-end corridor there, which is pretty much the key sign of a bomb placement slot. So we're just going to have to do our best on that one. At some point, we'll have to get into it. But down we go first and foremost to try and see if we can't, you know, find another bomb placement slot that isn't defended really incredibly well by a terrible UFO creature. I guess it's not a creature, UFO robot. Robots are not creatures. Creatures are biological. And I don't know if you checked recently, but I did. Robots are not, in fact, biological. It's just a thing about robots. 
Oh, a save station in the very least. This should actually make it significantly easier to get to that UFO. No, that is a thing. I guess now we can take like 7% less damage getting there. I would guess no more than 7% less. Locked from the inside. Ugh. Flaming molten pieces of trash. Ugh. I hate flaming molten pieces of trash. Those are the worst kind of trash. I mean, yeah, no, that is almost definitely the worst type of trash. Outside of maybe toxic waste. I mean, flaming molten pieces of trash, you at least know exactly what they're going to do to you. In uh, this case, not 100% certain. And that appears to be a boss door, which we cannot go through, so unfortunately. Oh no, we're gonna have to try to get back. I don't think we can get back. This is gonna be really hard. I mean, okay, here we go. Let's do this. No, this piece of trash is in our way. We have to do it. Try to get through. Nope, we're just taking a ton of damage. I think, unfortunately, we're going to have to kill ourselves in order to uh, get back up to the save station. That took a surprisingly long time to actually burn us to death, I will note. I think that proves that Nakamura's burners are not actually all that good. They need to work on their burner technology. Ah, poor Nakamura and a lack of heat. Okay. So we're going to have to head back up. And once again, we're going to have to pit ourselves against the vicious UFO creature. Um, don't mind me, guards. I'm just passing by. It's perfectly fine. Oh, that did not work. I was trying to get off without um, alerting the guards to my existence, but not so much. Not so much. Okay. Here we go. How do we deal with this situation? I think that first and foremost, we need to see if we can't take out the guard robots. Uh-oh, uh-oh. This is bad. This is bad. Take cover. Okay, we need to see if we can take out the guard robots that are actually, you know, assisting this UFO in fighting. That would help a lot. So this guy's going down. We just need to get past this UFO without alerting it, and okay. Now our chances of survival are 90% higher. Uh, I, I, can't, I can't actually validate the whole 90% thing, but I'm pretty sure it's a thing. There we go. And now it is combat time! I mean, we could also... Oh, there's nothing at the end of that hallway. Really? I mean, there's totally gotta be something at the end of that hallway. It can't just be empty. I guess there's no conduit? Huh. Or we can't activate the conduit until we're out of combat. I don't know. But this also presents... Oh no, there is another place to go over here. I was going to say this presents us with an issue that... I mean, that appears to be the last place that we can go, but it's really not. There's more places to go. Let's once again avoid the giant UFO because... I don't know if you've noticed. I'm... Oh my word. Not paying attention. Almost went into the grinder. Anyway, I don't know if you've noticed, but... Those giant UFOs are pretty dangerous, and uh, we're not actually all that good at actually dealing with them. So if we instead go over here and see if there's something nice over here, this is a potential. What? What is that for? I mean, we don't need that uh, elevator pad to go anywhere, do we? Oh, well we might. Apparently we can't quite get through here. What is, what is the answer to this, my friend? Well, the answer is probably we have to actually defeat this UFO. That's going to be the only potential answer that I can give to this situation. Now, we can try to use a hologram. That could be a good way to deal with this UFO. These things are ridiculously powerful, though. Kind of crazy. I do not appreciate ridiculously powerful UFOs. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, fine. I'll fight you as this robot. Just do a bit of damage to you. Okay, that didn't work out very well. It's almost immediately destroyed. Let's get in there. Deploy the hologram! Please distract the giant UFO thing. Why does the hologram not work on everything? I mean, I've noticed that not everything actually gets distracted by the hologram, and it's annoying me quite a bit. You get out of here, hologram. And there's definitely nothing here. Well, that's just unfortunate. I mean, this is just an empty room. That's not the best. 
you. Get out of here, hologram. Who do you think you are? Jeez, trying to follow us around everywhere. So what does that mean overall? I guess that means that we are more or less stuck at phase one and, you know, the continuous attempts to murder the uh, giant UFO were not actually that useful. So we probably have to get through using this guy and then set off one of those pads. So it's just going to be a lot of running against the conveyor belt, really. Which is the part of, you know, conveyor belt platforming that I hate so much. It, it just hurts deep down inside as you try so hard to get through, and it fails again and again. What is this? It's not very good. What the heck? Do, do they think that we can't get through this particular area? Without using a plat, without using this platform, I mean, I can easily get past here. But our nice little friend is going to definitely need to ride this platform across. Okay, so it's just a basic little puzzle. It's not even close to as hard as what the Double O agents had to deal with, so I think we'll be perfectly fine. The Double O agents had a lot of trouble, mostly because they had to deal with lasers and not giant chunks of trash. Giant chunks of trash? Significantly easier to deal with than lasers, it has to be said. Okay, yeah, see? Conveyor belts and giant chunk chunks of trash are nothing, especially when you've actually got a Nakamura military robot. Which I'm telling you, it's a military robot. It has to be a military design, I can't see how it couldn't be. It's got guns, it's like armored. What? What level of military technology do they have that this isn't military? I know I bring this up like all the time, but it still stands. It's kind of ridiculous. We probably should have killed that guy before we actually, you know, let him go, but... You know, we'll just let him... We'll just kill him afterwards. It's fine. It's not really fine because we took damage during the process, and we probably need that health for something, maybe. No promises. What do we got here? 60% of a golden keycard. Oh, how nice. That golden keycard is not what we are looking for. Thank you very much. Do we have anything within the tech tree we can do? Using any item heals you up 20 HP. That's not very good. Picking up energy cubes restores 1 HP. That could be good, actually. Energy cubes have a higher value if you get to them fast enough. Hmm. That's not great. Not using Jacker. I'm not having any of that. What's that? Sometimes Jacker manages to call down a cluster of allied robots. Only works during alarm phases. Yeah, Jacker. That, that, I mean, Houston, not Jacker. We can't call him by his legitimate name. That's completely unacceptable. Houston, I would upgrade you, but you're terrible. So it's not really going to happen. Jeez. So let's just do energy cubes heal us by one point every time. Because with the amount of energy cubes we usually pick up, that could actually be pretty significant. Uh, not on another one of these areas. I hate these pipes. They all try to kill us. It's really unfortunate. I don't know what pipes have against us. I guess it's the whole we continue to rupture them and their friends and family. Which is probably a good thing to have against people. Just thinking about it. I mean, if you ruptured my friends and family, I would say first off... What in the heck are you doing here? Who are you? And then I would respond with, Well, I don't really appreciate the rupturing of general friends and family. Which I think are all pretty reasonable responses to the situation. Okay. Now there is a problematic situation. We've pretty much been everywhere. And yet, and yet, we have not placed even half of the bombs. This is not good. We don't appear to have gotten a piece of the golden key card up here. So we should probably head over to that 3D printer and see if we can't get there, because that might be a good place to look for new bomb sites. It is to be noted. I don't even remember half of the layout of this place, so don't expect anything too good. By the way, we totally need to turn all of this back on, because it is going to be really hard to do anything without our drone friends. Which are definitely the vast majority of the damage that we do. I am personally very happy about Bill, Ted, and... Uh, who's the other one? Matilda? I'm gonna call him Matilda. It's good enough, right? What's in here? 
Ah, this room. I remember this room. This is where we first met the UFO things. Luckily, we may well be able to deal with this one now that we have so much experience in the destruction of UFOs. And this one doesn't even include a conveyor belt or other enemies trying to also kill us, which are two things that make the fight significantly harder. Although it does appear to really like its shield robots, which is annoying. There we go. It's done for. Any chances like a bomb here? No? Okay, fine. Ugh. What is the point of these UFOs? Are we gonna eventually come to a point where we find that, oh, you have to kill every UFO creature in the area, and then we'll have completed it because we killed every UFO creature in the area long before having actually gotten the quest to do so? That would be great. I'd be fine with that. Hold up a minute. Ow. Right here. Ow. Stop it, stupid trash. Jeez. There we go. Yeah, see, I saw that one. It just had that little dead-end area. Just look for dead ends. That's where we find the bomb placements. Now, is the key card up here? It is. Oh, it's a jumping puzzle. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's no more annoying than any variety of jumping puzzle we've already done. Okay, I take it back. It might actually be significantly more annoying than any variety of jumping puzzle we've already done. But we can do it regardless. We got this under control. We've taken, like, half a million points of damage. But we do, in fact, now have 80% of the golden key card, which, I mean, is nice, but still not what we're looking to do. It's not why we are here, people. We're here to place bombs. Reduce damage taken from acid or steam by 50%. That's actually pretty useful, given that we have, like, ridiculous amounts of acid and steam showing up right now. Those UFOs shoot tons of acid. Ugh. My word. Well, in the very least, we got that. And we remain not having any more bomb placements. We're gonna have to go back through a large portion of the area in order to try to find the remaining bomb placement sections. But that will have to wait until next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. Next time, hopefully we won't have to face too many UFOs, because they're kind of the worst. But I'm sure we'll have to face one or two UFOs, because that's kind of standard for this place. Until then, thanks for watching, and of course, enjoy the rest of your day.